Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. On my way. Is that all? It will not work this way. Excellent. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, just one moment. Yes. I concur. Prepare to die. This is not your day. Yeah. 
This is not your day. This is not your day. Every little bit helps. I cannot run any longer. God bless you, Chosen. Now we can walk in the foothills safely. I promise to reward you, and I shall keep my word. Oh, by the way, where is your source of money here in Gapath? I was told there was no king here, but now I see genuine royal coins. How is this? Well, that is no mystery. Gipath was not always the desolate place it is nowadays. In ancient times, other people lived here. Nothing like us, you understand. But they disappeared without a trace, leaving only ruins behind. And the coins? Well, apparently that is their legacy. So, anyone who takes a good look around the ruins can become the first man in the village who is richer than you or Erfar? That is a possibility, aye. Hmm. But the problem is, the easily accessible places have been cleaned out a long time ago. And elsewhere, there are more unpleasant things than money awaiting the unwary searcher. So we cannot expect to see a lot of suddenly rich people in this area. And by all the ruins of our unfortunate key path, I cannot say I'm very unhappy about that. Look, can I offer this to the witch? Yes, that is a magic bit, all right, and you can ask a fair price for it too. But personally, I would never go there. The road to the cave where Estera lives is closed by magic traps. And is there no way to bypass them? I never tried to do that. I am no fool to risk certain death. But I do know a way, though it will not be easy. You see, these traps are controlled by magic obelisks, and you need a special key for them. How do you know about that? Well, who else but me could have made a spare key for the witch? And this is what it looks like. Old Estera keeps it somewhere at the end of the western ravine. There are traps there too, but the lightning strikes only certain points. So you could try and bypass them and then switch off the obelisk which controls the traps. It is not far from there, at the end of the ravine. But there is another problem. A troll is always near that key. He never bothers the witch, but if someone tries to get to the key and the troll sees him, I mean, that big beastie would have a nice breakfast then, would he not? Or supper, depending on the time of day, really. Well, thanks a lot. Is that all you can tell me? Any tips or hints, mayhap? But of course! Here is my advice. When you show Estera the magic bit, wait until she names her price. When she does, wait a wee bit more, then ask for three times as much. She will pay, never fear. But remember, my cut is the half. Does he really think I shall haggle with the witch about the price? What I need from her is help, not coins. I have done the villagers quite a few favors. Now it is time to think about myself. <laughs> 